Hi guys, Dom Goes here and this is the SkyDog routers from Power Cloud System. Now this is a very special router because it can buy near obsolete hardware and state-of-the-art firmware and then ask you to pay a lot for it. So before you do, make sure what you need more, the real good performance or the level of control that the firmware gives you. So let's find out. First up, the real deal. Now this is a true dual band Wi-Fi router. It supports the dual stream setup of the 802.11N standard. And that means it gives you the top speed of 300 megabit per second on each of the two Wi-Fi bands at the same time. On the front here, as you can see, there's an array of light to show the status of the router. There's also the WPS button, but it doesn't do anything. It's just a placeholder. There's more placeholder on the back here, which is the USB port. Doesn't do anything either, at least for now. The routers do have a four gigabit LAN port and one WAN port, and it is world mountable, and that's about it. So specs wise, it is probably the least impressive I've ever seen in a very long time. And in my testing, its performance was dismal compared with recent new routers, and the range was not very long either. Basically, it has nothing of note. Now that brings us to the part where the router is exciting, is firmware. By far, it is the most advanced I've ever seen. Now the router comes with a cloud-connected web interface that allows you to manage your home network remotely from anywhere in the world by going to skydoc.com and log in with a free account. Now the vendor-assisted remote home management is not new, but PowerCloud System did a very good job with Skydoc here. As you can see, it has a very robust web interface that offers a lot of tools for monitoring and reporting. And I mean a lot. It will take me hours to actually talk about all of them, so take my word for it. Note the router has three virtual network zones, including home, work, and guest. You can actually control the internet bandwidth for each of the zones, but you cannot specify what Wi-Fi band a zone works on. By default, all zones work on both of the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz band at the same time. Now, the second very impressive feature of the router is the web filtering feature. You can define the blocking mechanism from basic to extreme, with basic meaning that you can access almost everything, and extreme meaning that you can access anything at all. You can even create your own level of blocking by using the supported categories. There are hundreds of them from adult content to youth distraction to social media. The very cool thing is that with one client or user, you can actually apply one level of blocking at a time and a different level of blocking at another time. Basically, the router offers you all the ways you can think of in terms of filtering stuff from the internet. Now that's all good, but the effectiveness, however, depends a lot on how the websites are properly categorized. You know why the SkyDog is very exciting, I find it a little bit too slow and too limited in terms of hardware capability to justify the current price of some $150. Never mind the fact that it costs you another 30 bucks a year after 3 years if you were to continue to use the cool feature about which are the only reason why you would buy it in the first place. Now for more on the SkyDog, check out my full reviewerset.com. One thing though, if you look to this SkyDog here to block your children from pornography on the internet, well good luck. For one, in my testing, even as the high filtering setting, I could still use Google to shoot and display all type of images. But the main reason why it's not going to work is because what you're watching right now is considered porn by men. And they just can't have enough of it. But that's because I'm Dom Ngo, and this has been the first look at the SkyDog router from PowerCloud Systems. Thank you.